All right, guys, I've got a joke for you guys today. What is clear and what is something that you change out every week? Huh? It's this guy. It's the Invisalign. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about the five things that I hate about my Invisalign. Let's go, baby. Woo! So what is Invisalign? Invisaligns are alternative to braces. All right guys, let's jump into the top five things I hate about my Invisalign treatment. One, of course, the pain. Oh my God. For my treatment, I change out my retainers every week and putting on new retainers is not always fun because it hurts like a the reason why it hurts because it's adjusting very, very slightly. But in order to help it um, adjust, you need to use um, Chewies. It's a silicone cylinder shape, like a straw. Chewies help to fit the aligners better in your teeth and so that it uh, produces movement and improves your treatment. So my recommendation is always use your chewies. I know it hurts a lot. Being the pain level, I would say about four out of five. So I highly recommend you guys get this chewy. When I first got the attachment, it was kind of weird because the attachments are literally like um, bites growing out of your teeth. I didn't realize how big attachments can go and I was very shocked actually on my particular attachment. Of course, I did my research online before getting the treatment. And according to the photo that I seen, the attachments were very, very small. Not noticeable, but the attachments are the big factors of starting the Invisalign treatment because it scraps onto your teeth. So with the chewies, it pushes against your teeth, fits your alignment. The only time you use your chewies and where the pain starts is the starting of your new aligners, which usually for me lasts for about three days. When I do my chewies, I do it at night. Right before I go to bed, I'm like munching on these uh, silicone straws. The pain is there, but I know in my mind that it's working. But there's times where my critical tooth is not being fitted very good. If your pain level is very high, you can go ahead and take some uh, pain medication, but I'm a man, so I can take the pain, baby. No pain, no gain. Yeah. That's where we lead to my second part of why I hate the um, Invisalign treatment. Helpful that you see your ortho every six weeks. Well, for me, every six weeks. And when I visit my ortho, she gives me the rundown of how my progress is and um, how my trackings are, and it's very helpful. It's not like the other dental treatments where it's a DIY and you do it at your house and you don't know exactly what you're looking for. You just put them on and you expect the best. But I highly appreciate where the Invisalign treatment requires you to see your ortho and you see the progress and you see um, the status of your uh, Invisalign treatment. So that's a big plus. And make sure you uh, go with your, your plan or else you're gonna extend your treatment. So the third thing that I hate about my Invisalign treatment is always flossing after you eat. I know flossing is not a big deal, but then as you grow through your treatment, you'll find that it's beneficial because if you don't floss and you have something in your teeth and you put the eyeliners, You'll see the crud between your teeth. Granted that I didn't floss right after I eat. Of course, I floss daily, nightly. I wasn't used to literally flossing your teeth right after you eat. But I had some instances where I forgot to bring my kit where I have my floss and my mouthwash. So usually I always forget them. So I just say, you know, I didn't bring my floss. So I'll just do a quick rinse. 
and then that would be okay but of course you have some things that are stuck between your teeth and when you put back your aligner it's gonna show so I highly recommend always always bringing your um, your kit with you another reason why I hate about the Invisalign is that you can't just eat what you want because if you eat what you want and you forget to take up your aligners it's not gonna be good I mean it feels weird when you want to eat something and you have your aligners what I always uh, try to do is that I don't crave a lot more because I know that I have to take time and take off my uh, aligners granted that it doesn't take me forever to take it off but um, I just remembered that my first time getting the aligners it was pretty interesting uh, getting it off at the first time because it was very very tight and you don't know where a good spot to take them off I just managed to uh, take it off with my fingertip so you just can't take a quick bite if you do want to take a quick bite you have to think about oh I gotta go and take off my aligners and then after I'm done eating I have to do floss and do mouthwash but I guess it's it's all up to you if you don't want to floss if you want to eat with your aligners feel free but it's gonna it's gonna stain your aligners which is not fun you always gotta clean them after always think about what you want to eat so we're gonna go into the fourth thing that I hate about my Invisalign treatment price which was of course you're gonna expect a high high price but it varies on your condition for example if you have an overbite underbite my treatment costs pretty high tier but good thing that my insurance covers one third of the price which was shocking me because I never thought the insurance would cover um, this kind of treatment so if you guys are considering uh, Invisalign go ahead and talk to your uh, medical insurance carrier and tell them your situation hey I want to get Invisalign how much is it gonna cost me and all of the information they're gonna give it to you and then with that um, you just find a good uh, ortho um, how I found my ortho is uh, online through my insurance carrier which was uh, which was a great deal because one not only you'll see if you're covered or not two a lot of reviews are online so you can read people's um, review and how the ortho is going if they're a good ortho shout out to the, um, dr megan she helped me a lot in terms of understanding what is needed don't be hesitant in talking with your medical coverage people on this guy because what's gonna scare you is what you don't know so don't be like me where i was hesitant on getting this stuff because i knew it was gonna be costly but think again so we're on the last and fifth on why i hate my invisible and it's the time my god so i had my initial consultation last feb they took some photos it was pretty cool because your ortho explained to you hey you know this is your condition now um our plan of attack is so and so and this is the treatment on how long and i was surprised at that the Invisalign is made in Mexico so shipping is gonna be a while oh. not only shipping but these are made 3d printing from my aligners I can see little grooves that goes around and around and around and just builds it up so um, so it takes a while to make these align aligners so and just be patient i know i was excited you know I, and i couldn't wait for mine to get in and it took over a month i would say five weeks which was a long time because of course you go into your consultation and you're expecting the following week okay here you go let's start your treatment but nope 
Nope, nope, nope. This bad boy comes from Mexico and it takes a while. So you guys better be patient. All right guys, so that's my top five reasons why I hate my Invisalign. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it gives you guys valuable information. So make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel for more Juicy Vlogs. All right, baby, this is Juicy signing out. And until next time, be classy. Woo-wee!